Hey guys, my name is Megan from the blog wilsonhomestead.com and today I want to share with you our latest Azure Standard haul. Now this is a pretty big haul. If you guys have ordered from Azure, you know that they a lot of time don't send what you actually ordered and I don't know what is going on with their stocking system, but we have been trying to order a lot of this stuff for months. Like probably like the last five times I've ordered, I've tried to order some of this stuff and they still haven't sent all of it. So it's kind of been building up and so that's why this is such a huge order. We aren't like stocking up because of the virus. This is really just how we buy food anyway. We like to be prepared and buy things in bulk. It saves a lot of money. And so let's get right into this haul. So first I got mung beans. I've been getting a lot more into sprouting seeds lately and mung beans are a really great option. They're not as expensive as something like broccoli seeds, which I think broccoli seeds are one of the most expensive sprouting seeds that they have on Azure. And they're just so crazy much more than the mung beans. I also got some radish sprouting seeds. So these will last us a long time, especially since I only use a quarter cup in like a quart jar of sprouting seeds. But I really just like that even if the store is closed down or whatever happens, and especially in the winter when we're not growing stuff in our own garden, we can just sprout our all of our own greens and not be really dependent on the stores to stay open and going and having always fresh produce on hand. I also got some Epsom salts. I got these for my Wilson Homestead business. I sell a lot of bath salts and stuff on my online store and the place I normally get them, which is Bulk Apothecary, has been out of stock. They're going through a lot of stocking problems as well. So Azure had this and it was only slightly more expensive and I've been out. So I went ahead and got some. I ended up getting three five pound bags. So 15 pounds will last me for oh, quite a while. Oh yes, and I also got some alfalfa seeds. Some more sprouting seeds. I forgot to show these to you guys earlier. I got some beef gelatin, 100% beef gelatin, and it's unflavored. I have been using this to make jello lately. Making homemade jello is one of my favorite things because it's a really great way to use up all that syrup and juice from canning fruit. So all of my grapes and peaches and pears and nectarines that I canned are in all this juice and normally you would eat the fruit out of it and then we do a lot of times drink the juice but I hate letting it go to waste or anything so I've been turning it into a jello and me and Sophia have been loving it and because it's made with this beef gelatin it actually has some protein so I don't feel bad about just eating a big sugary mass of jello. <laughs> if you guys are interested in seeing my jello recipe I made it up and I haven't really ever used a recipe for it, so if you're interested in seeing it, let me know and I might make a recipe video for you guys. I got some calcium hydroxide, and this has already been opened because I used it. I have been using this to make water glass eggs, and I will link the video on how to do that down below because it's a basically just a really great way to preserve eggs for like eight months to a year out of room temperature. You just put some of this in water and mix it all up in a bucket, and you just make sure your eggs are underneath the liquid and they'll last for a long time. So that's my favorite way to make sure we are preserving the huge influx of eggs that we get in the spring so that when we get to the winter, we can have eggs all through the winter as well. I got some coconut milk. I got five, I think five cans of these. So that'll last us for quite a while. And this is just a really great simple coconut milk that doesn't have a lot of crap in it. It's got no gore and that's something they put in coconut milk a lot of times. And so my husband is on the gatch diet and he can have coconut milk that doesn't have goo or gum. And so this is one of the ones I found on Azure that is like that. I got the 25 pound bag of brown rice, organic brown rice. And that is one of the things that it's taken me like five months of reordering it every time to get them to send me. And they finally sent to me. I was like completely shocked. But we have a bunch of five gallon buckets with gamma seals that things like this brown rice and some of the other things that we've gotten today are going to be stored in those so they'll last longer. We also got a 50 pound bag of sea salt that I'm not going to lift up and show you because it's 50 pounds. But th that is also for the business. Because again, I said I make sure salt scrubs and bath salts and that takes up a lot of salt. And so we don't even use white sea salt just for our baking and cooking or anything like that. We use pink Himalayan salt, which I also did order and they didn't send to me. So I'll need to reorder that next time. But I just use a lot of white salt for my business products. And so we won't be running out for a while. And I I like it when I have the feeling of knowing that I won't run out of something for a long time. I also got a 25 pound bag of flaxseed meal and I have been really enjoying eating flaxseed meal in my brown rice cereal or my oatmeal in the morning. It's just a really great way to get in your omega-3 fatty acids and it's a really great thing to take while you're breastfeeding. You're just making sure you get all of that nutritious fat and stuff. So I'll normally add in like a tablespoon to my breakfast every morning or if I'm having a smoothie, I'll add it into that or a lot of times I'll put it in cookies 
So 25 pounds will last me for quite a while, but I have been using it a lot more than I had ever before because I'm breastfeeding now. I also got a box of brown rice pasta noodles that are spirals. I think one box is like 10 pounds. And again, these noodles were something that I've been waiting to order for a long time, and my husband can't have them because he's on the GAPS diet, but my daughter and me eat a lot of brown rice pasta. And it's so much healthier than regular white pasta, and it's just nice to have like a filler like that that I can get, make sure I get enough carbs for breastfeeding. I also got three boxes of the panini noodles, so I guess that's 30 pounds of the panini and 10 pounds of the spirals. And I think that's it. That was our whole Azure haul for this time. Again, I just so love being stocked up on food and knowing that we have plenty of stuff at our storage room and again and you can see all these canned jars behind me. I do a lot of my own canning and so if you're interested in seeing videos on food preparedness and preserving food and canning please follow along on our channel because that is something I'm just so passionate about and so I'll be sharing a lot on here. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!